Just try to relax, Vizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, that's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It, it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astro may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just... just rest. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. 
and we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires, what does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Damnable jester. Should have figured Astrid would send you. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. I've got your back. I will remain on guard here. Do me a favor and kill that little Chester twice. Just to make sure. What is life's greatest illusion? Welcome Keep her eye, kill the listener! 